Hey, it's Diamond Dish with D. I know they got a hot mess, but it's too late for that to worry about it. I'm looking at myself, boy, you look like something the cat dragged in and kicked the crap out of and dragged it back out. Yeah. Oh, well. Diamond Dish with D. That's me. I have talked about this on a <clears throat> one of my live tea with D's. If you don't know what that is, it is a live weight loss meeting style chat we do every night here on the channel. And we talked about Big Macs. So I thought, how about a Big Mac meatloaf? Because I've been jonesing meatloaf for a long time lately. I'm not sure why. I never usually like meatloaf. But the gals want to see it. So I said, this is the week to do it. So, but I want to say, this is going to be a high point meatloaf because of the meat I'm using. Remember, if you use a different type of meat, your points will be much lower. I'm using an 8515. That's the choices I'm making, but trust me, you get yourself whatever meat you eat, or you eat, you eat, and you can reconfigure it, and it'll probably be way lower on points. I'm paying a lot of points for this meat, but that's my choice. So let's get started making. This is, I'm winging this because I've never made this. I have no idea what I'm doing. I thought it just sounded good. So we'll see if it tastes good. You'll be there for the taste test. So let's get started in my bowl. I have two pounds of 85.15 of ground beef. All right, let's just get that a little bit. Now you don't ever wanna play with your meat too much because they say it toughens it up. So we're trying to get everything in the bowl and then just mix it one time, fresh clean hands, so you don't have to play around with it. First, we're going to add our binder. So we'll do, we'll start with an egg. The incredible edible egg. All right. Now this is where you would put breadcrumb in, but I'm opting out of breadcrumb today because the last few times I've made meatloaf, I've used quick oats and guess what? Nobody noticed. And fun fact, well, it's not really that fun, but on purple, this is zero. So yeah, half a cup of quick oats. And I'm actually gonna use everything but the bagel seasoning as the seasoning in this because I don't know why, I just thought it smelled good. <laughs> Again, you can use whatever you choose to use. I'm gonna put a nice tablespoon of this in there. There's salt, there's pepper, there's poppy seeds, there's sesame seeds. I thought it would just give it a nice round out flavor for this. Okay. Now I'm still undecided whether I wanna roll it or put it flat. You see where I'm at with this sometimes. I never know what I wanna do. Hmm, I was thinking, do I lay it flat, put the cheese and roll it, or do I just, I don't know. Hmm, we'll think about it a little bit more. I'm gonna put a quarter cup of low fat Thousand Island. Now you could probably get fat free. My store didn't have fat free, so I had to stick with the low fat. But if I had the choice, because I don't think it makes a huge difference in this, then I definitely think the fat free will work. I have to get my quarter cup. Well, we're just gonna eyeball it. I know what a quarter cup looks like. It's not a lot. Okay, that's about it. A quarter cup of our Thousand Island. And if you don't like Thousand Island, by Jove, leave it out. And I'm gonna put some chopped up dill. There they are, dill pickles. I'm also gonna throw in a little bit of the pickle juice. Why you ask? I don't know. This sounded like a good idea when I thought of it. Let's just measure out a tablespoon of pickle juice. Ooh, ooh. I think it'll help give it a little flavor and I think it'll help round out the meat. So let me chop these up. Put this out of the way, put this out of the way. Grab as many pickles as you would like. Remember, you're not gonna eat them all, so it doesn't really matter point-wise how many you put in because I'm not eating, I'm not eating all this meatloaf. I'm just eating, ta -da! This is my little candy candy caddy over here. Make sure you wonder what that is, that's my, Spatula and knife caddy I keep on the side. It's just easier to grab what I need quickly. I'm gonna chop these up. Again, as much as you like. If you don't like pickles, don't put them in. But I think it's in the Big Mac salad, so I thought, if it's in there, why not put it in the meatloaf? And heck, I love pickles, so yeah, I'm all for that. Get as many as you like. You could always put some on the top. You could put some on the side. Whatever you want. This is your meatloaf. It's not my meatloaf. It's your meatloaf. You want to get them a little bit smaller. Okay. 
we're gonna do with about those. I don't want it to be overly pickly, if that's a word, overly pickly. Let's see how many we got. Let's measure it. <gasps> Wouldn't that be interesting? Dee actually has measurements for things. Yeah, I would say this is almost a half cup. Let's put a couple more and make it a full half cup. This way, you all know what we're doing with here. There we go. Half a cup of chopped dill pickles. There we go. Into the pot. Now this is where I have to decide whether I want to, because I have some sauteed onions. I'm gonna show you those. It's about a half a cup that I got nice and beautiful. Now, either I can put them in here or I can lay it out. I have to think about this while I, while I mix. Let's just start mixing and give it some thought. Hmm, do I wanna put it in? Do I wanna roll it? Mm, I'm slugged today. Maybe I don't feel like rolling it and getting too. I'm not sure. I mean, you can put the cheese and the onion all through it. I was kind of having like a little cheese gullet. But you know what? Maybe we'll just mix it through and put some on top. Give that a work. Yeah, I'm gonna throw them in. Yeah, you could, like I said, spread this out, top it with the onions and the cheese, and then do jelly roll style if you choose. Yeah, I'm not going that route today. I'm just feeling a little bit lazy. So we're just gonna put this, put all them bad boys in there. Now, I would prefer raw onion, because that's my jam. But the consensus here for the children was they didn't want to taste the onion. So I'm using some Velveeta shreds. I have the whole bag in the measurements. So we're just going to put, I think, uh, it's like a half a cup. Half a cup for now. And just give this a nice little whiz. Get all those onions mixed in, get your cheese. And don't forget, we're gonna. I'm not topping the Russian dressing while it's cooking. I'm gonna to top it when I take it out. That's my preference. If you want to put it in, I guess you probably could. But I don't know. I just I don't want it all baked in there. So everything mixed. So your pickles are in, your onions, your cheese, your seasoning, your egg, your oats, or your breadcrumb. You could definitely use breadcrumb. I'm just using to use the oats because you know, I'm saving myself some points here with this high test beef. <laughs> Huh? And we go grab our pan. We're gonna form our meatloaf and then we're gonna top it. Okay, we have our sprayed, I think it's a nine by 13 pan or just a regular. I'm going to form it into a loaf. That's what I decided to do. Now, like I said, you could do a jelly roll style. That would work. But you know, I wasn't in the mood for all that aggravation. It's one of those days where he doesn't wanna do much. So let's just get this out of the bowl. I'm just going to free form it into a loaf. Get all the pickles and onions out because I'm going to waste them. All right. Press it down and try to make it as even as you can. It's a pretty nice size loaf. I'm hoping to get 10 slices out of this. Cheese and the pickles. Oh. Like I said, jelly roll might have been a better idea. Yeah, you know what? Meatloaf is meatloaf. I have some roasted potatoes on the side. Yeah, it's going to be a high point night for me. Some of these pickles are going to be all jammed over here. Let's just put the pickles in. I was going to add more cheese, but you know what? I might wait to when it's almost done to top it with some cheese and then top it with the Thousand Island dressing. That's going to be fun to do it that way. The flatter you get it, the better it will bake. I, 
and I'm sorry, I love an 85-15 meat. I'm, I'm not, you know, I don't sacrifice meat for points. I just don't. I understand if you do, but you're saying, why are you using D? Why are you using, it's just, you know, it's just, honestly, it tastes better. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread some sesame seeds on top. And they will toast beautifully. And you know it's on top of the Big Mac. Sesame seeds. Just a little homage to the Big Mac. I used to work at McDonald's, fun fact. Three years I worked there through high school and first year of when I went to be an MA. So yep. So I have much experience with the old Mac. So I'm gonna put this in a 350 degree oven. I'm not sure how long it's gonna be because again, I've never made this. I'm gonna say probably 45 minutes based on the size of the meat we have. So that's, some, that's what I'm going with and I'll let you know if it's anything different. But look at that. Pickles, cheese, sesame seeds. And then when, I, when it's done, I'm gonna add more cheese and I'm gonna put the sauce and put it back in for maybe four or five minutes just to melt the cheese and to get that sauce in there. Yeah, this is a good. This is a good thing, people. All right, baked for 40 minutes. I just topped it with a quarter cup of the Thousand Island, the light Thousand Island. I figured that was enough, actually, because you could put your own on your own piece. And about a couple tablespoons of some of the um, Velveeta shreds. I'm gonna put it back in for a few minutes, let that all melt and come together, and then we're going to have some Din Din. Looks and smells really awesome. Like I said, you can lower the points on this by changing your meat, but you know what? A good 85, 15 is always a good choice. A bed of lettuce because, hey, Big Macs have lettuce. And I drizzle a little extra sauce and some extra sesame seeds. I'm serving with a huge sweet potato because I'm purple at zero. So we will go over points in a little bit after I figure them out because I really don't know what they are right now because I want to eat my dinner. All right, let's have a taste, shall we? Smells really good. You see the cheese, you see the sauce. You can see the pickle in that bite. Open up. Mmm. 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 It is delicious. The onions are perfect. Because I still, they're still, you still taste them. I taste the pickle. Mm. And that mac sauce, well, Thousand Island dressing with Russian. This is that Big Mac flair. Delicious. Like I said, change the meat up. You could totally lower the points in this. Absolutely. Winner, winner, Big Mac dinner. Well, let's go over the points, shall we? Because I got to go figure them out. Totally forgot to tell you the points. Yeah, I'm coming to go live and I'm like, stupid, you never finished your video. So yes, it wind up being for 10 slices, eight points a slice. Like I said, you could use a higher, I uh, should say, lower fat beef, chicken, turkey would definitely lower the points. The flavor is tremendous. It's really, really good. I We just like beef here and with the boys, that's what they prefer. Plus with a really a Big Mac, it is beef, but. But I'm definitely going to try it. I have some frozen chicken, ground chicken. So next time we're going to do it with chicken. So I'm curious to see how good it is. I would definitely add more onions. And I did not use all the cheese like I said I was going to. It, actually, what I used was perfect. So the written recipe will have the right amounts as usual. And if you don't know where that is, it's a link down below called dishwithd.blogspot.com. That's where all my written recipes are. I highly recommend you go and check that out. That's where I put them all at. Have a wonderful rest of your day. If you enjoy that, this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, there's a subscribe button. I would love to have you as part of the Dish With D community, as I love to call it. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Enjoy your food, people, because you got to be eating it for life. So you might as well enjoy it. Fit it in. Enjoy it. Make it tasty.